The courses that I really enjoy are Carbine 1 and Handgun 1. What I really enjoy is getting back to the fundamentals because that's what's going to make you a better or more advanced shooter. A lot of guys come here and, and they think that when they show up for an advanced class that there's going to be some new book of, of knowledge that I'm going to give them and really in essence what makes an advanced shooter advanced is the understanding of the basics because they can fix on the fly and they know what to do they're just doing it at a faster rate. So uh, we have Carbine 1, Handgun 1, which are good fundamental courses. A lot of people get scared off and they're, they're, they're thinking like, oh, it's too basic. I mean, I've had master class shooters take these courses. I've had military guys that are in the special operations community take a basic course. Those guys are smart enough to know that shooting is shooting at the end of the day. Marksmanship is needed. Fundamentals are needed. Uh, malfunction clearances. It's good to get back to the roots and get a tune up once in a while. If somebody wants to get in contact with us, you can look us up at www.costaludis.com. Uh, Ludis is Latin for training. And if you have any questions, they can contact customer service. We're on Facebook under Chris Costa, and we're on Instagram under Costa Ludis. So that's where you can find us and ask questions. Basically what I did was try to design this as an instructional facility. It's more instruction than it is common everyday usage. Uh, I wanted to give, uh, well, what I wanted to do was recruit some of the top instructors in the U.S. to come here and do classes uh, and give the people in this area, say from Oklahoma City to the Metroplex, uh, the opportunity to train with some of these world-class instructors. And uh, I needed a facility first, so I started developing that. And then uh, from that, I've uh, quizzed some of these top guns uh, about what they need and what they want to teach the curriculum they feel most comfortable teaching. And uh, from that, we've kind of developed our steel and our, our uh, long range facility, our carbine facility, uh, et cetera. I've been very fortunate because uh, I've had some of the top guns in the country come. I've had Larry Vickers. I've had uh, uh, basically Ken Hackathorn. Uh, Travis Haley, Chris Costa, uh, I'm my resident instructor, I feel very fortunate to have uh, obtained. He, uh, his name is Randy DeHay, and Randy is uh, Seventh Group Special Forces. Uh, did a numerous tours in the sandbox. Uh, he worked up there at Thunder Ranch for Clint Smith for four or five years. I, you know, I'm not sure you'd like to ask Randy, but I know it was four at least. And uh, he got tired of freezing to death up there. So uh, he moved back to Texas, him being a, a Blanco, uh, city of Blanco guy. And I feel very fortunate to have him. Randy does uh, a well of a good class. He's got a world of experience. And uh, through him and with his help, uh, basically I've been able to uh, develop this place into a facility that suits most of the top tier instructors for our steel and uh, our scenarios, what we can do. I'd just talk, like to talk about uh, promoting the Second Amendment. I think it's a, it's a constitutional right. I don't think it should be tampered with. And uh, I would hate to see the right of each and every one of us to protect ourselves and our loved ones uh, by restricting our Second Amendment.